Welcome to the ProctorU proctoring platform, the flexible and convenient way to help achieve your academic and professional goals with live remote proctoring. Keep in mind that while online proctoring may be new to you, it's designed to be very similar to a secure in-person exam experience. Today, we will show you what to expect with our Live Plus and Review Plus service lines. Let's walk through the process so you can be ready for a smooth testing experience. Preparing for your exam. A live proctored launch will take between 10 and 15 minutes, but does not take away time from your exam. Since the exam timer does not start until the proctor has allowed you into the exam. Take these steps before your exam appointment. First, have an approved photo ID ready. Choose a test-taking space in a private well-lit room. With no one else around you. If possible, sit with your back facing the entrance of the room. Your computer must be on a hard surface like a desk or table. Clear your workspace of any food, beverages, unpermitted resources, secondary monitors, and electronic devices, except your cell phone. Remove your sunglasses, earbuds or headphones, large jewelry, and watches. Remove any non-religious head coverings. You will need to install the Guardian Secure Proctoring Browser prior to your exam. Close all programs, then restart your computer. Lastly, be sure to use the restroom before your appointment. Exam launch process. If you require any testing accommodation, please inform your testing organization well in advance. In this scenario, we're showing the exam launch process from the ProctorU platform. You may also launch from the Measure Exam platform, a learning management system, or another test delivery platform. So be sure to follow the launch process outlined by your exam administrator or instructor. If you have a question or need help at any time, just click the chat button and a support technician will help you correct the problem. Software and downloads. If you didn't install the Guardian browser before your exam, the system will prompt you to take those steps prior to moving forward. Now it's time to download and run the Proctor chat application. This applet will allow you to chat with your proctor. After downloading this file, you'll find it in your downloads folder or your default download location. If prompted, click open or allow to give the file permission to run. When the chat box says waiting, it means that you've successfully downloaded the applet and your proctor will be with you shortly. Do not close this window. It may take a few minutes for your proctor to connect, so do not download the file multiple times. While you wait for your proctor to connect, Continue through the exam pre-checks on your screen. Pre-checks. As you're being connected to a proctor, you will run through a series of steps that we call pre-checks. The first screen you'll see will outline the proctor you privacy policy, terms of service, and the recording notice of your exam session. You will need to agree to these terms and click next in order to continue. Next, you'll be asked to share your webcam, microphone, and screen. You will need to click, begin recording and continue. At this point, your screen, video and audio will start recording. Then, you'll be asked to agree to your exam rules. You will need to click next in order to continue. These rules are set by your exam administrator or instructor, not proctor you or measure learning. Lastly, the system will prompt you to take a photo of yourself and of your approved photo ID. If your ID has a vertical orientation, hold it up vertically. These images are captured and stored for your proctor, exam administrator, or instructor's review and then securely destroyed after seven days. Proctored steps. By now you should be connected to a proctor. If not, please continue to wait. Your proctor will greet you via chat and then call your computer to communicate audibly. Once connected, your proctor will review the photos you took of yourself and your ID and make sure your name and face match your profile. Then, your proctor will review the exam rules with you, as well as any applicable accommodations noted on your appointment. Next, your proctor will ask to see your workspace, including all four walls and the area around the desk and monitor. You will use your cell phone camera to show the edges of your computer screen. The proctor will walk you through this process and then ask you to remove your cell phone from the work area. The proctor will ask to see any permitted materials outlined by your specific exam rules and take remote control of your mouse and keyboard via the Proctor Chat application in order to make sure no unpermitted programs are running. 
you will be able to see everything that your proctor is doing on your computer. The proctor cannot access any files without your knowledge. Entering your exam. Your proctor will help you navigate to your exam and enter the password for you. When your proctor releases desktop control of your computer, you'll be able to start your exam when ready. Your exam timer will start once you see the first question of your exam. Your webcam view and your screen will be recorded for the duration of your exam. If a proctor is present for the duration of your testing session, you are taking a live plus exam. If your proctor is only present for the launch process, you are taking a review plus exam. The proctor will communicate this to you before you begin your exam. During your exam. While taking your exam, keep your exam rules in mind and do not read exam questions out loud. Leave your seat unless permitted or allow anyone to enter the exam area. If you need technical assistance, use the support chat icon or call our support number. If you're taking a live plus exam, your proctor will only communicate with you if you begin to do something that is not permitted by your specific exam rules. If a restroom break is permitted by your specific exam rules, your proctor will ask you to perform another security check of your work area when you return. In some cases, during a live plus exam, your proctor may change, but this will not interrupt your exam. Finishing your exam. If you're taking a live plus exam, you must alert your proctor before submitting your exam, so you can walk through a brief completion process together. Finally, so that we can improve your test taking experience, you'll have the opportunity to take a brief survey about your experience and give us your open and honest feedback. Thanks for your time and good luck with your exam.